Hi there beautiful people and welcome to the channel and this pick a card reading where we are having a look at do they miss you and what is next for us. So what's going to be happening in the near future for you and is your person currently missing your energy? This is just a general reading, only take anything that resonates for you and your situation. If you are interested in a personal reading including my Black Friday offers, do check out the description box where you will find the details to book with the timestamps for this reading. So we have three options here for you today. We have option number one, option two and option three. If you need more time, please pause the video here. Otherwise, I'll see you at your timestamp and we'll have a look. Does your person miss you and what is next for you? Hi there, option number one. Those of you who chose this blue crystal here, this is going to be your reading. So these cards right here are to tell us, does your person miss you? And then we're going to use the Light Seer Oracle. No, we're not. We're going to use the Light Seer Tarot deck to find out what is going to happen next between you and your person. So first, let's have a look at these tarot cards. We have the Six of Swords. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Swords, interesting energy here. We also have, it is safe for you to love. And we have the Temple Path. Okay, let's move these up slightly so you can see them properly. I do feel your person is very caught up in their headspace about you right now. Okay, they are overthinking the situation and they could certainly be um, dealing with some self-limiting beliefs. I do feel, okay, for some of you, this person is either trying to move on from this connection or has tried to move away from this connection. However, they're really struggling to do that. I do feel this person does miss you, but they could be hiding this very well. I feel this is somebody, okay, who does actually have the idea in their head of coming towards you with a new idea, a new opportunity, a brand new fresh start. However, they're kind of caught up in this loop within their head, just overplaying the situation, okay? Um, round and round in the same scenarios. I do feel, okay, with this it is safe for you to love, that this person could be somebody who has run away from love, who didn't feel safe to love because of their own self-doubts, because of their own self-limiting beliefs here. But with this temple path here, I do feel, okay, this person feels this call towards you. It is kind of like you are a part of their destiny and they feel this energy towards you. I do also feel, okay, this is somebody who wants to come out of a challenge in time for you, with, um, with you rather. They want to move into karma seas, okay. I do feel you've learnt a lot of lessons and this person has also learnt a lot of lessons as a result of your connection. What this It Is Safe For You To Love card says is open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. I do feel this person is feeling this calling to open up their heart space and I almost feel like their heart space is actually open to you. It's just their mind. If they could quieten their mind down, then things would be a lot clearer for this, for this person. I do feel you're on something of a journey with this person also. There could be a physical distance between you. And I do feel this person is feeling this call to come closer towards you, be this emotionally, okay, or to bridge this physical distance between the two of you. But this is something of a journey that you're on with this person. It's almost like a higher calling, could be a high level of soulmate that you're dealing with here. Let's have a little look. What's going to happen in the near future? What's next for you in this connection group number one. Oh, that was quite a few we'll just take the ones who have actually flipped over for you and we actually have the page of cups here and we have the nine of pentacles i'm just going to get one more and then we shall talk about these energies for you one more what is next for group number one in this connection I certainly feel, okay, that there is romance here, okay, and there could even be some kind of an apology for some of you. This person sees you as somebody who is very independent, is another message I'm getting. We've also got the Ten of Swords here. Let's just get one more to clarify that. With the Ace of Wands, beautiful. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Knight of Swords. So I certainly feel there is going to be forward movement, and it could even be quite quickly and unexpected. There is definitely something your person needs to close out, okay? A painful cycle that perhaps they've kept themselves in a loop in for quite some time, perhaps even before they met you. But this Ten of Swords indicates that it is coming to an end for them. 
and after this painful cycle there is going to be more clarity achieved for your person and for you as well if things are very unclear for you right now okay um this could very well be a mirrored energy this eight of swords we do actually have that mirror there so perhaps you're both feeling a little bit stuck at this time this energy is um is coming to a close for you and there's inspiration there is passion coming back towards you and i do see the opportunity for a new beginning I feel this person is also somebody, okay, who is trying to find that balance within themselves, who is trying to find their own um, stability, is trying to find their own, almost trying to meet you where you're at, okay? You're somebody who's very independent, somebody who this person at least sees as somebody who's got it all together and they want to be on that same page with you. And like I say, Page of Cups, your Pisces energy could be significant, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, as well as um, Leo's energy is what I'm getting here, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. But yeah, this Page of Cups, it speaks about romantic feelings, it does speak about opening up that heart space. I do feel it's interesting with this, it's safe for you to love. And then we have this heart chakra that is in fact sort of... Um, overflowing with emotions okay and these two hands reaching out to each other i do feel there is a distance between you and this person wants to bridge that distance they want a passionate new beginning with you okay as well as this grounded energy i feel for many of you okay it's not the first time round it's probably not the second time round or even the third okay if you've done many rounds with this person many cycles have played out between you and this person and now this new beginning that's grounded as well as passionate here. You're also an inspiration to this person. It's another message I'm getting. And there could have been a third eye awakening or a, a spiritual upgrade or a spiritual awakening as a result of the connection you share with each other. Which has allowed for you both to um, sort of put an end to these self-limiting beliefs, these holding yourselves back. I'm actually hearing the message, getting out of your own way. I feel you've both sort of cleared that path for you, both to reach your best potential is something else I'm getting. But yeah, it's so going to come in pretty quickly for you. There could be some communication. I do also feel, okay, we've got the Hierophant under here. A lot of spiritual lessons are occurring right now. It can speak about commitment. It can speak about... Um, I do feel it's like this stairway here, you're walking slowly up these stairs, okay, and it might be quite a struggle towards the light, there is light at the end of the tunnel, but fast movement, and this communication might come in, okay, a bit um, abruptly, or it could be a little bit to the point, okay, this person might not be the best at communicating their feelings, and they could also be somebody who is a little bit afraid to speak about the lessons they're learning at the moment, okay, someone who's reluctant to open up. But I do, as I say, feel a softening of their energy towards you and an opportunity for a new beginning, perhaps after quite a painful ending between the two of you. So that's what I've got for you, group number one. If you have enjoyed, please do leave me a comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and you won't miss reading in the future. And I'll catch you all soon. Take care, everyone. Bye. Hi there group number two, those of you who chose this clear crystal here, this is going to be your reading. So these cards are going to tell us if your person is missing you right now and then we'll use the Light Seer Tarot deck to find out what is next for you guys. So we have here for you the Death card, we have the Five of Cups and we have the Hermit's Energy. We also have Honeymoon and we have Man Holding a Coin. Yes, this person is missing you an awful lot right now. This is somebody, okay, who could have a lot of regret or is very disappointed with how things have turned out with you. There could certainly have been an ending in this connection and there could be a time of silence right now as well. And I do feel it's almost like, it's kind of like a suffocating kind of energy for your person. This I feel very, um, they're feeling very lonely, they're feeling very down, they're feeling very nostalgic and missing you an awful lot okay I feel they're missing you far more than they would ever um, express is something I'm getting here there is definitely a transformation occurring within your person with this death card here and this could certainly be your energy as well a lot of soul searching going on for this person right now they could be isolating themselves and like I say it could be complete silence between the two of you right now I feel this person is trying to find their own inner light at this time and I am getting here okay that the both of you could be sort of in um, hermit mode right now, finding that inner light within yourselves, doing a lot of self-reflection. 
with this man holding a coin here this is somebody who sees you as somebody very valuable and I feel that's a mutual energy as well you both see the value in each other but I certainly feel there has been a significant change or a separation or an ending of some kind within this connection which has caused for this person to think about transformation personal transformation to really dig deep within themselves to find exactly what it is they do want and what they um, don't want for some of you and getting the message here okay this person didn't recognize your worth okay until it was a little bit too late until this distance had become um, a regular thing is something I'm getting with this honeymoon card here enjoy the bliss of holiday time perhaps you met on holiday this person could want to travel with you they could want to travel towards you but I certainly feel this person misses the bliss of your energy it was almost like um, but some of you okay never really got past the honeymoon stage is what I'm getting here and for others of you it was always that honeymoon kind of feeling it was always that newness always that spark between you two and this person really misses this Another message I'm getting for some of you, okay, is that this is somebody who you pursued in the past, somebody who perhaps you even chased after a little bit, and now that you've sort of put a stop to this, this person is recognising just what they had, and like I say, for some of you, I feel they might have even recognised this a little bit too late. Let us have a look. What is going to happen in the future? What is next for you? I did just see that Ace of Swords. So that could indicate some communication, particularly if there's been a long period of silence here. Let's see if it comes back out, though. It certainly indicates clarity, though. So, for my group number twos, what is next, please, Spirit? What is next for my group number twos? We're going to get three tarot cards here. Well, we've got the Three of Swords. We have the Two of Wands, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and this one wanted to come out, we have the Emperor Energy here. This Three of Swords Energy, okay, I do feel that this separation energy, okay, is a mutual energy. You're both currently in this heartbroken energy. I do feel, okay, for some of you, okay, this person could be a little bit too focused on the past, okay, on perhaps regrets that they have, in, um, which is stopping them from being able to take any action at this time. Just remember, this is the current energy, okay, this isn't the energy forever, and she's always shifting and changing, but right now, I do feel this person is very stuck. I feel like this person could even be a little bit stuck in victim mentality here with this Three of Swords energy. And for some of you, like I say, there is a situation, okay, that this has gone on for long, even before you met this person, okay. This person has been dealing with something that has really brought them to their knees here. The other message I'm getting here, okay, is this Two of Wands. This person definitely does have a decision to make. And for some of you, okay, this could be a third-party situation. This isn't something that I'm letting you know for the first time here today. I do believe this is, if this is the case, then it is something you're already aware of. And this person feels a sense of responsibility is what I'm getting and has to stay where they are right now. This person is heavily invested in you, though, all the same with the Seven of Pentacles. It can also indicate patience and divine timing playing a part here. It's like this seed has been planted, okay, and the roots are just coming through. And, you know, this is going to take quite some time to grow is what I'm getting. I also feel, okay, this is going to take quite some time for this person to come out of this energy, this heartbreak energy, where they are sort of looking backwards rather than looking at the here and now. In the traditional deck, okay, we do actually see it on this deck, we've got the three spilt cups and we've got the two upright cups here. Your person might be so focused, or perhaps this is your energy and perhaps you're mirroring each other at this time. This could be a message about switching your thoughts, okay, to the two cups that are still standing. This opportunity of beautiful love here. We do have the Emperor's energy, Divine Masculine energy showing up here. That could mean something to you. Aries could mean something to you, as well as Virgo's energy and Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus as well here. But the Emperor's energy, the Emperor is somebody who knows what they want. And when they know what they want, they go after it. It's very, um, it's quite a leadership um, energy is what I'm getting from your person. Okay, so when this person, okay, does make this decision, when they are able to shift out of this 
um, court cycle, the cycle that they're currently in, this constant heartbreak and thinking about the past too much, that is when they're going to take action. But it's not going to occur um, in the near future is what I'm hearing here. I'm actually hearing Aries season could be significant for some of you here. At the bottom of the deck, however, we do have this Eight of Wands and we have the Moon's Energy. So for some of you, this communication, okay, is going to come from nowhere. This forward movement, okay, is going to be when you're least expecting it. I'm also hearing it's when you shift up your thoughts as well. When you kind of do a little bit of inner healing work, which I feel you're going through right now, okay, and you're standing in your divine masculine energy, your divine feminine energy, that's when this movement is going to come in for you. I also feel okay things could have been very very up in the air for you and they are going to come into land for you but with this moon's energy here there are a lot of fears going on as well a lot of deep emotions that could be hidden right now a lot of balancing out going on as well but I do feel this is somebody okay who is a little bit afraid to approach you perhaps this is somebody who is dealing with um, abandonment issues or is afraid of rejection is another message I'm getting there for you. I do apologize about knocking the camera and my phone is ringing just one second. Sorry about that group number two, but there we are. That could be the unexpected communication, okay? A sign of that communication coming in when you are least expecting it. For some of you, I'm curious, eight weeks could be significant here as well. So that is what I feel for your person. I do feel they're missing you an awful lot at this time, but they are still in that hermit mode. They're doing a lot of healing, self-reflection at this time. When they recognise their own power, when they recognise their own worth is something I'm getting here. That is when they're going to strike. That's when they're going to take action towards you group number two so if you have enjoyed the reading please do leave me a like comment subscribe it really does mean a lot to me and if you would ever like to book a personal reading you can find the details to book in the description box below take care everyone bye hi there group number three those of you who chose this orange stone here this is going to be your reading so is your person missing you these are going to answer this question i'm going to use the light seer tarot deck to find out what is next for you guys so what do we have? We've got the Fool's Energy, well we've got the Ace of Swords and we've got the Ten of Swords in the reverse. We've got True Love here for you and we've also got the Third Chakra or the Solar Plexus. Very interesting. With this Ten of Swords, okay, being in the reverse, I don't normally take reversals, okay, but I am being told this is in the reverse. I do feel this person is healing at this time. The swords are kind of falling out of this person's back and you could certainly be feeling this energy as well. Perhaps there has been a bit of time between the two of you, okay. Perhaps there has been some recent communication is something else I'm getting or if that is not the case, okay, there is this communication coming in for you. What I do really love, okay, is that this Ten of Swords, okay, in the upright, it indicates this painful cycle coming to an end, okay, and then we usually get the Ace of Swords, which is present here. It's almost at that point is something I'm getting. This person has almost reached that point, okay, where they are achieving this clarity. They are ready for a new beginning with you is something I'm getting. This person, okay, could be feeling a little bit foolish at this time with a fool's energy here because perhaps, okay, They've actually been the one that's done the stabbing in the back here, okay, and they've recognised you as their true love is one message I'm getting here for some of you. The other thing I'm getting, okay, this could be somebody who is very carefree, who certainly, okay, doesn't express their feelings very easily and doesn't show their wounded side, doesn't like the idea of being that vulnerable is something I'm getting here for you. I do feel this person is missing you though. They are missing you, okay, because you are their true love. You are this romance of a lifetime for them. And they've recognised that is what, what I'm feeling here, okay, perhaps after a, an ending of a painful cycle here for them. It's almost like an awakening or some sort of an epiphany has come to your person, okay, where all of a sudden it all makes sense to them. They're now ready for this new beginning, this new um, adventure. And I feel this could have been somebody who's been delaying and stopping and starting this connection. It's another message I'm getting here. This is someone who finds you extremely fun to be around. Okay, you do have kind of like that sunny energy for them. You lift the energy in the room is something I feel here. But this person could certainly have been struggling, okay, with the idea of something quite so pure. They could have been struggling with their own self-esteem, their own self-worth. 
This could be somebody who has had a lot of painful experiences with this Ten of Swords here and they could have been a little bit reluctant. Perhaps that's why the Ten of Swords was in the reverse is what I'm being told. They were trying to avoid this Ten of Swords when in fact it was unavoidable. They've been triggered in some kind of way, okay, to find some sort of clarity. Inner truth is what I'm really feeling here. Let's have a look now what's going to happen next with your person. So they're definitely missing you. They are going through some sort of a cleansing process, some sort of a healing process here. This is somebody who sees you as their true love and that is one of the reasons that they're missing you. Not only that, but the light that you bring as well is what I feel here. You make them feel carefree. This could be somebody who does have a lot of difficulty, okay, who does have um, a lot of challenges in life in general, okay, outside influences, but when they're with you, they feel carefree, and that's a very unique energy for this person, is something I'm getting. Those are some of the things that they miss about you, as well as your truth, and as well as your ability to take that leap of faith, even if you don't have all the answers, is something else I'm getting. Let's get three tarot cards now and find out what is going to be happening next between you and your person. So at the bottom of the deck we do have the Emperor's energy, Divine Masculine energy and the beautiful Wheel of Fortune. The balancing of that masculine and feminine energy occurring here and a change turn in the right direction. You could definitely be dealing with your Divine Masculine or you could be the Divine Masculine watching this. I just noticed 21, 21. Those numbers could mean something to you. You could just be noticing synchronised numbers or signs. Um from your person okay or you could just be um both aligning with this is what i'm getting coming into alignment we also have here a few the nine of pentacles we do have the five of wands and we have the judgment energy wow i've just gone really goosebumpy that's quite an intense energy. I do feel, okay, in the near future, okay, this person is going to be standing into their power a bit more. They're going through some sort of a purging, a cleansing process with this judgment energy. There is definitely healing occurring, a lot occurring behind the scenes that maybe you're not aware of, or even your person isn't aware of at this time. This five of wands, it can indicate a bit of conflict, okay? And I do feel there is some conflict in regards to this person taking this leap of faith towards you. But I do feel it's also more about facing their own inner challenges. This battle, I feel, is more internal than it is external. I feel your person is afraid of being hurt and that's, like I said, why they have been avoiding this true love. But with this judgment's energy, okay, do feel, and the Emperor's energy, I do feel this person's going to be taking action towards you. There is going to be a judgment call, okay, this person's going to be asking perhaps, you know, for another chance at this, for they speaking their truth, this brand new beginning here, taking this leap of faith. And it is about resurrecting something from the dead as well. So perhaps this is a connection, okay, that you thought was sort of long gone, okay, is never going to work out. Or perhaps this was your person's energy. And all of a sudden, like I said, like an epiphany, this wheel suddenly spins in your favour here. And um, this person is also a part of your destiny. I've actually picked up another card there. Wow, the Page of Pentacles. So yeah, coming in with some sort of um, small token, small offer here. The Page of Pentacles, though, it's once that plant... Or the seed is planted okay it's something this person wants to nurture and i feel this is someone who didn't nurture it in the past in fact i feel they probably ran from their emotions with this seven of swords energy so yes this person does miss you an awful lot they've been avoiding this true love for quite some time but at the end of the day they've got to face it is something i'm getting here and this judgment day is coming closer and closer for them and for you there is a lot of internal conflict for your person but they are going through this purging and healing um process at this moment they do see you as their true love they want this new beginning with you they want to speak their truth and like i say i do feel this is part of your destiny, guys, and you are going to be hearing from possibly a divine masculine, okay, with some sort of token of a new beginning here, where they are finally facing their feelings for you. So that's what I've got, group number three. I hope the reading's been helpful. If you've enjoyed, please do leave me a like, comment, subscribe. It really does mean an awful lot to me, and I'll catch you in another reading soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.